Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. It is lovely to see you back again here in my channel. If you are new, welcome. So um, this video is going to be welcoming the month of June. And so I decided to show you because I now have most or almost all of my roses are now blooming or have some blooms already. So I will show you how they are. So first of all, I don't know if you can remember when I transplanted this um, miniature rose earlier on this year. So this is how it is now, this red rose. Can you see? Now, the leaves aren't looking too good. But I have some good blooms here. Apologies if I sounded too groggy. Um, I'm suffering from, I don't know, a hay fever, like some sort of allergy. And so I have like a puffy eyes at the moment and um, my voice is very, very, um, you know, nasally. So I hope it won't annoy you too much. But this is how the red rose is. Um, I got this from Marks and Spencer's. It, it was on sale and I don't think I had a name um, for it. All it was was a red rose because it was a knockout rose. And so I can't give you the exact variety exact name all i know it's a red rose miniature now look at the leaves though and all i've been doing with the leaves is i'm just picking picking the leaves out when it gets really really bud okay because i'm trying not to use anything chemically to spray on it you see okay so this is the first one can you remember how many i showed you i actually showed you two uh three this is the second one. See? Okay. Now, this was the one that was looking poorly that I managed to save. How she is. Okay. The first, first bloom. Okay. Same with the leaves. And some but I can see some more buds in there. There's actually three more to come out. Okay. Tiny. Now. Unfortunately, um I already got rid of the third one because it didn't survive. So two out of three did well and this third one didn't survive and that was the orange rose that was actually looking really healthy when I bought it um, anyway let me show you the other roses now so I don't know if you can see that's the money yeah? um, because this is the first one to flower this is also the first one to receive its first that heading as you can see there's more in there that one and that one in there okay so i've just given it a proper dead heading let me just move you and show you glitchfield now look she's already shattering so this is our glitchfield look at that <laughs> I already dead had her as well, so I'm not that had full, you know, but I had four big blooms out of these already. Uh, oops. It's just been so late, uh, busy lately that I didn't manage to make any video. It's been so busy in here. So this is the first um, video of her to show you this year. Can you see? Okay, now I would say she's looking, I'll need to attach the, um, the first clip, I think I made a quick video of her when she was in, um, had her first four blooms, which was huge, these are smaller now, these blooms, but, let's see if I can move to here. So 
some more buds in there and this is how she looks can you see okay some more buds in there I think she shares the same habit as Dame Judi Dench, which I'll show you in a minute. But the next one, the third one, is um, the two uh, roses that I have dug out of uh, that area over there, where we are going to have the greenhouse. It's not yet finished. Fortunately, we are waiting for the person to um, fit uh, the glass panels in our greenhouse, which there is a big, a long delay, um, you know, big backlog uh, of customers. So it's going to be, there's going to be a delay. Um, so the third roses I'm going to show you are these two. Now, these are the, as I said, the two that I dug out from that area over there where the greenhouse is now. Um... <laughs> Now, it's not always all good news and flowery and happy because, as you can see, <laughs> this is, or this was, the Jacqueline Dupre um, rose. Now, I keep on misquoting this rose. I keep on calling her a uh, David Austin rose, but actually she's not a David Austin rose. I've been um, kindly corrected by one of my viewers, Kitty K. Hello there. I don't know if you're watching this video. Um, but actually she's a Harkness rose okay now unfortunately as you can see she didn't like and adapt well to the move and hence she's now dead <laughs> there you go so I'll have to dig her out and find use for these black pots and I'm sure I'll find the use to that one but just to let you know Jacqueline Dupre is like that now okay now i am going to try and see if i can get another one because she is beautiful she's absolutely beautiful and as i said she's one of my number one favorite rose here in my garden okay the next one is how big difference it is look i did the exact same thing with this too um the second one is the timeless pink and look how surprisingly Look, this is her first bloom. And I dug her out from the ground, moved her into this pot, similar as what I did with Jacqueline Dupre, and look how different, totally opposite, she responded. Can you believe it? Now, this one is not a David Austin rose, okay? I think this one is an English, like something like English company rose or english heritage rose and i actually bought this from a garden center a local garden center and this was an offer when i bought this i only paid nine pounds i believe she was still a baby but this is how she is now look at that timeless <laughs> absolutely timeless beauty okay now let's proceed to the third rose Okay. Ooh, I think I'll show you first the two patio roses before we go to Dame Judy Dench. Now this one is my first ever roses here in my garden. I bought two actually. They are both patio roses. The first one is called Red Dwarf. Okay. And she's not a David Austin rose. how she is okay the first blooms are those and those are yet now i'm having um issue with the um saw fly larvae here in my garden so what i've done i've been picking the leaves out so as you can see she's looking a bit sparse with you know her leaves i'm not bothered about that um, i would rather do that than use uh, resort to chemical you know spray as you know the first step and see how you know it's going to perform if not i might have to make a like a soapy uh, solution to help the issue but later on as i show you my roses you'll see what i mean i'll show you if i can spot some around my roses 
Now, as I said about the soft lie, um, I have been kindly advised by some of my lovely viewers. I can remember two mainly. Um, the first one is, uh, I think the name is Ad Davina. Um, and all, the second one is uh, at Rooney Tunes or Rooney Loons. Rooney Loons, Rooney Tunes, something like that. Hello there, both. Thank you so much for your advice. And I've now um, taken it uh, on board and I've been trying to eliminate, you know, those larvae as soon as I spot them. Unfortunately, this year, for some reason, there seem to be quite a lot of them already. Um, and so, as I said, what I've been doing is I'm just picking them out, you know, the leaves that are infected, and I'm getting rid of them straight away, putting them in the garden bin, and, you know, um, you know, putting them in like a, a contained bag, and ho hopefully they will get, you know, collected and then composted somewhere in a bigger um, place. But just to say thank you for that advice because i can now see what you mean there's loads of them now actually so let's go back to showing you the so rose from that red dwarf rose we're now going to move to the second one which is this one this is the first bloom it's a tiny tiny rose i think they are almost similar size to um my miniature roses but the actual rose size is bigger, just a tad, okay? That's the miniature one. So let's proceed to the fifth rose, which is one of the rose bushes and one of the David Austin roses. And this one is called Dame Judi Dench. So I'll walk you through. Dench, look at this. Whoa absolutely beautiful you know she only just started to open up yesterday because we had beautiful day yesterday look at this just perfect to welcome the month of june how beautiful oh my my now i don't know if you've seen the other videos that i have already uploaded here in my channel about her but this is how she is year 2024 and I actually um, finally pruned her earlier on this year, but I didn't upload uh, the video when I did that. I should have perhaps, but this is how she's come back. Now, I feel more confident actually um, to prune her again, to prune most or all of my roses here for next year because they all come out quite well again. Look. How beautiful oh my goodness and some more in there in there let me see if I can get closer to it okay look oh my goodness now as I keep on mentioning please don't mind the fence at the back I've decided not to paint it anymore because I'm worried about the the paint, the chemical paint leaking into the soil. And I don't think that my neighbor mind me not touching her fence anyway anymore. Because I used to also paint it as well when she said, uh, paint her side. Look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my my. Oh wow. Loads. Let me see if I can show you some more. Look. And you know, when I mentioned in my earlier video about um, Dame Judi Dench, how her habit is. I mean, look, she's very, very naturally archy. And I, I'm going to do this year. I'll see if I can get away not staking her. and see how well she performs. I might have to stake her in the end, but at the moment I'm not doing anything. Whoa, she's beautiful. And you know what? She is the most, um, what's the word? Uh, proliferous, is that the correct word I was thinking? That scents flower, uh, you know, one of my roses that does that here in my garden. 
let me see if i can get closer to it show you how big the actual bud is or the actual flowers are you see This is how they are. Okay, mommy in a million. Look. And we're getting loads of thirsty bird visiting our parlor. I have loads of customer at the moment. Drinking in there. <laughs> just here which is manageable height and also it's allowing the tree leaves to be more um, on view can you see how tall this, these are the cotton candy okay i showed you a clip of that earlier on and there are some in there that are just growing you know tall and i'm not going to cut them i think i'll just leave them as they are and we've got baby baby bird in there i don't know if you can see it let me see if i can zoom my camera oops the next one is from cotton candy is I'll let you to guess. I feel you will know which rose is this one already. Have a guess. <laughs> if you can remember, if you watch my one of the most viewed videos here in my channel, I don't have that many, um, but my one of my um, most viewed videos. Okay, if you guessed well, let me know in the comment section if you feel like leaving me a message or a comment um, this one is called Emily Bronte and honestly she surprised me okay because I pruned her harder earlier on this year so instead of um, how she was last year I pruned her as advised also by one of my lovely viewers hello there um, I think the one who advised me to cut her shorter uh, her name is Marilyn Smith I don't know if you're watching this video hello there thank you for your advice and as you can see she's now looking more manageable this time and she's growing amongst this you know alliums lavender salvia um, that I managed to grow from a cutting I originally bought only one of these um, from a garden center and then I managed to grow three more out of a stem cutting so I'll see if I can uh, make a video perhaps when I next make a stem cutting to grow again to add to my border garden bedding we shall see okay and let me see if I can stand next to it really really quickly just to show you how the height is now it's more manageable than how she was last year now can you see i i just spotted more soft light look at that whoa you must leave my roses alone you guys i let you last year but you've come back quite strong and quite a lot of you this time so i think i i'm going to you know start as advised by my lovely viewers to start monitoring them and getting rid of them now my roses are going to look bare <laughs> i'm just picking the leaves i don't know is there any other way apart from using resorting to any you know chemically spray perhaps i wonder if a garlic spray might work what do you think guys let me know 
you've managed to find an organic way. <gasps> Look at this beautiful Emily Bronte. Oh my goodness. Oh my, 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 my. Month of June. Early June. Oh my goodness. It's like I can give a bouquet of this straight away. So that's how she looks from afar. Now try and ignore. That's not That one is not part of her. Okay, that's another rose in there. But this is how Emily Bronte is in there. Just one rose, okay? Just one. Let me cover that one so not to mislead you. That is another rose, okay? So beautiful, oh my. As you can see, she's sending the same quality blooms as I have showed you last year. And I'm trying to see if I can find. So these uh, blooms are how they are in 2024, okay? June 2024. First, uh, early June 2024. Now I can't find my favorite bloom yet. My favorite stage. Earlier on this year, the, the buds looked smaller. And I said to myself, oh no, I might not see them bloom big. But actually, they surprised me, look. Because I was just probably being impatient with the size of their blooms. Okay, that's how they are. The stages of them, different stages. That this one is only growing from a single single rose let me see actually if I can show you how she is please ignore these alliums as I said I'm going to remove this out of my beddings because I think these are purple sensations okay they are quite um, fast multiplying bulbs so I'm going to try and remove them completely and leave the other types of alliums that I still have here in my bedding which I'll show you later on but that's how she is in there and I have some angry pigeons in the background if you can hear their wings flapping about <laughs> The one that keeps on appearing to be almost similar to her is this one. Now can you guess? This one is also a David Austin rose and I just lost the bloom there and another one in there. What can you guess this one is? What is this one? She looks almost resembles almost a, an Emily Bronte doesn't she I mean look ish I think the color now if you manage to guess correctly this one is actually called the shepherdess uh, David Austin Rose as well and I'm trying to see if I can show you I think this is the most bloom that is open here. I've missed the other ones, unfortunately. Oh, look how beautiful the shepherdess. Okay, that's how her color is. The next one is the golden celebration. Look at this, guys. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my goodness. I would say this is the biggest, this is the biggest bloom um, here in my garden. And then second is the Dame Judy Bench. Golden celebration. 
Oh my goodness. <sighs> I'm sorry about me keep on using the oh my goodness expression because the bloom is just oh my I think it's because of the lilies as well. It's heightening the smell of the roses. Look at these beautiful lilies. I'm so happy when these, you know, they bloom all at the same time, almost all at the same time, because it looks like I have a, a, live, an, a live bouquet of flowers here in my garden that I can look at and last longer rather than have one in a vase that only lasts almost a week if I'm lucky enough. Wow. Now I'm not putting any stakes to my roses this year. I might have to give in later on this year. I don't know yet. But because I cut them short when I pruned them, they are in much more manageable height, I would say. Look at all this here. The buds on this one, Golden Celebration, and as you know, it's from David Austin, they are huge and that explains why. Now let me see if I can set up the camera again and compare the size of this bloom against my face. I'm sitting on my alliums, they should be all right. Look at the... Can you see? I'm looking at the screen so that I'm sure that you can see how big it is. And this one is shattering already. So beautiful. I just feel like staying here now. <laughs> but I have to move on and show you three more or four more of my roses and then I'll wrap this video up now for today. That's how it is. let's now move on to the next one which is an English rose um, it's also from David Austin okay and I believe this one is called um, Empress Josephine now I would say this is second to the most darkest color here in my garden oh no rather third because i remember i have my crimson glory which is a, a red rose climbing red rose can you see <gasps> so beautiful um, empress josephine an old rose from uh ooh. did i just say from david austin it might not be own david austin rose <laughs> i keep on saying that it's because these roses I bought from David Austin, so it may not necessarily, necessarily uh, mean that they are own David Austin roses. Perhaps because they only supply. See? This one that we missed. Some more in there. Unfortunately, this is a, you know, very, very gorgeous rose, but it's only um, flowering once. So it's not a repeat flowering rose, but for what it's worth, it's still lovely to have this here in my garden. And look at the leaves. It's not the usual glossy rose leaves here. Okay, 
so from there not so many at the moment to show you that's why i am going to move to my william loves now um apologies i don't know if you can hear some um you know talking in the background it's my neighbors so i hope you don't mind it's just that everyone else is waking up now and that is okay because we share the same space where we are um this one okay is my william loves and this is my one and only mossy rose here in my garden my my look how many buds we have william love And it's like brushing my fingers through bristles, you know, soft bristles. So beautiful. Now you'll notice that not so many in there but because i already picked some of the leaves there that are infected with soft light larvae but oh and that oh my when i rub this okay do this do this and then smell oh wow oh that smell oh that's so beautiful so even though we don't have the blooms yet it's sticky and it's like it's excreting oils already and the oils are oh my goodness honestly i don't know do you have william lobs as well in your garden or a similar one and i don't know if you've noticed already it's secreting oils the bristol bristles can you see I'm trying not to zoom too close to my nails because they are still long and they look quite filthy. And they smell, when I smell it, oh, it's so sticky. I wish you can see how sticky it is. It's like um, touching a sugar syrup. And the smell is smells of like a Turkish delight. Oh, that explains why, because you, you have a Turkish delight that is a um, rose flavor. And I wonder if they are using the same, you know, extracting the oils from this. Look at this. Before I show you the last two roses, let me just quickly show you the jasmine here. Dusk and dawn, these jasmine beautiful scent is at its most, you know, strongest um, level where you can really, really smell it as soon as you enter my garden. It feels like it envelops, you know, the, the garden with its intoxicating smell. So beautiful. And can you see how many we have? I know previously in my video I mentioned about making a wreath or a garland out of this. Now I really haven't done it or completed that promise. The reason for that is because I feel almost always guilty of picking the flowers here in my garden. Especially if that flower, that type of flower is feeding the insects and the bees and the butterflies here in my garden and so I don't know I might try and do that this year but don't hold your breath because I might once again not do it because <laughs> of the guilt of picking the flowers and robbing the bees and the insects their food 
beautiful jasmine. There you go. And I'm letting it grow really, really low. I'll show you. I'll set the camera quickly and show you. So from there, take you with me, full of jasmine. <laughs> Oops. So this is the back of my garden, a very, very narrow. You probably have seen this a million times already if you've been watching my videos. <laughs> but this is what I mean. So I'm letting all the brambles grow. brambles as you can see these are all brambles flowers okay and they are very very thorny and they could scratch my skin and my clothes if I'm not careful but the reason for me letting them grow like that is at the moment then if you can see the bee in there somewhere the bees are getting their food from here, from this, um, the flowers, bramble flowers. And so I made it a, quite an important thing and something that I'm willing to put up with whilst, you know, it's producing flowers to let it grow. So I've actually trained it to grow higher you know, just above my head, over my head, up in there. And if you can see the bees. And so to give them food, but that's where I was a while ago walking from. Okay. And Easy. I'll show So I don't know if you can see. Once again, I'll mention this canopy that I created, <laughs> as I keep on mentioning every time I'm here at the back of my garden, showing off this. So this is my Holly King Ilex variety. And as I said, half of it, I trained to grow looking like a tree at the front, if you're looking at it at the front, but at the back, I cut half of it, just enough, as you can see, like an entrance, you know, like a little canopy so that I could get through to it. And then on the other side, we have this um, clematis here that I am letting to grow widely as well. So the last destination of this tour is my red rose, a climbing one, Crimson Glory. Now, unfortunately, I have also did a thorough picking of the soft light larvae in here so it's rather looking bare hardly any leaves it's because it was badly badly infected with soft light and we've just missed see there's also a baby soft light in there I don't know if you can see it in there so i'll have to remove that later there and i caught loads of good blooms as well because they were badly infected with soft lye so it was something that needed to be done unfortunately Now I wanted to go next to it, but I won't there this time because there might be still full of soft line now that I can see. 
Um, I've only spotted one so far. I think I made a clip of this one before I removed the leaves. I'll see if I can attach that in addition to this video if it's not long enough already for you. This is once again a Crimson Glory from David Austin. And so uh, that's it for now. Let me just see if I can... So out in the sun this is how she is very very velvety that that is this is the true color of this particular rose can you see <laughs>